flower, coated with a little flour. The flour that I coated it with, I put it in a bag, I coated it, pulled the flour that was left over back, because I'm going to use that after a while. I'm going to start dropping my chicken in there so my chicken can start frying. And I just want to brown it real good. I want to let that chicken get brown on both sides real good. This is what I want. That's it. Alright, I'm going to take this piece out right here. Come on out of there, I tell you. This is some good stuff here. Okay, lowered my fire real good. Throw my flour in there. Watch how it's working right now. Got my fire lowered. I don't want a dark luna. So I got some plans going my way. Dark enough for me. I'm going to start throwing some onions in there. Onion's gonna slow that down, slow that browning process down. And it's gonna start sauteing. Let me put some celery in there. You don't wanna never put your your, your garlic in there right away because garlic tint burns fast and it has a tendency to do that. I'm gonna let this saute a while. Now, I'm going to add my garlic in there. I don't... The tomatoes are added in there. Everything is going good. The bottom of the pot's looking good. When I Put that tomato sauce in there. That's when it's going to really get good. All right. Here comes my paste. Got to put the paste in. Tomato paste. Come on in, baby. I want the whole can, too. See that little grease in there? How it's frying up them veggies? See, working. Right now it's working. See, I don't have to worry about my chicken. My chicken's already kind of, kind of brown. Alright, close that up. There we go. There we go. See that little stirring? You can, you can hear the roughness at the bottom of the pot. That means you got something going for you. Oh yeah, boy, that... Tomato paste is working in with that flour that was that was that flour residue. I guess that's what you call that some residue. Look at that, boy, it's getting pretty on the bottom. Hang, hang. I'm gonna let that tomato paste kind of work into the bottom a little bit. I want to make sure I get all the little green meas off the bottom. You know that that paste is something else now. I'm gonna add a can of Tomato sauce. Put my sauce and put a little can of water. I like to use the same can I got there to put my water in, you know. Give me a chance to clean my can out. You don't want to waste none of that good tomato sauce. Look at that baby go. Hot! 
I got enough film in that camera there to work. Now, things are starting to come off the bottom of the pot. You see all that water that was in that can? Starting to kick everything off the bottom of the pot. They're going to get a good mixture in there. Flowers coming off. The sleeve is coming off. I'm going to add a little water. About 12 ounces of water right there. Pick my fire up. Try to get this stuff off the bottom real good. Then I'm gonna put my chicken in there. Bottom and the side. And it's pretty. Alright, my chicken's going in. That chicken's gonna cook good. See that, man? Eh? You got plenty of room. Make sure you always use a, a good sized pot for your meat. Remember, you never want to put a 50 cent tree in a 25 cent hole. Same thing with your chicken. You want to put a big chicken in a little old pot where you got to be making adjustments. All right, it's cooking right now. I got it on medium. Now I'm going to start adding some stuff. Cayenne pepper. It's about a quarter of a teaspoon. Garlic powder. Half a teaspoon. Crushed red pepper. Got to go to half a teaspoon of that. Chili powder, quarter, quarter teaspoon. You know, there's nothing real major there. I'm not going to do any salt right now. I want to see what, what, how the salt is before I add any. Quarter teaspoon black pepper. Parsley flakes. At least a tablespoon of parsley flakes. And paprika. Don't forget the paprika. Half a teaspoon of paprika. And that's it, baby. Let it cook down. Add something else in a minute, but first of all, add about four more ounces of water. See how thick that gravy is? And that's on its own. Ain't no cornstarch in that rascal. Put a couple of bay leaves in there. Okay, I'm gonna put two of them in there. And that's just for right now. You see that's not enough? Well, you're right. Let's go three. Three of them took it. Alright, we'll see you after a while. I'm letting that cook. I just had to add about another four ounces of water because I don't want it too thick. And this is beautiful. And it's doing its thing. I'm going to add a little bit of this here Raging Red. And I need a little salt. I 
I would guess about a half a teaspoon. It's been Two cooking teaspoon. about 40 minutes now. Doing good. I like to stir the bottom a little. Make sure there's nothing hanging on the bottom. Sausage. Right. When you see it like this, see that little drumstick, the meat's falling off and everything, it's coming off. It's done. It's time for me to pick out the bay leaves and fix a plate. Matter of fact, I got about eight plates to fix. Good looking sucker. And let me tell you, it tastes so good. Talk to you in a minute. All right, baby, we're done. This thing is done. It's a done deal. Our chicken sauce pecan, as you can see it right here. This is so good. I took a taste a while ago. I couldn't resist it. My palate, my palate's gone crazy right now. Ain't Nelly's beef. I'm trying to rush. That's it. My show's over. But see you later. I oh yeah, baby. Hot damn, where's my dog? In a day. <sighs> Good night, y'all.